Hello YouTube land, it is me Justin King again with another video. This is my second attempt to see if the new mic that I bought will cancel out enough of the fans that I have going in the background that you can still hear me okay. Or if I need to go back to what I was doing before I bought the mic and just have the fan completely off and suffer and wetness and sweat and grossness for you guys out there in YouTube land to get the content that I need to put out. <laughs> I hope it is. Let me know in the comment section below because that would make my life a lot easier because I am just sweating so much before I even sit down after I've angled the camera, turned on the, the light got my mic in, got my laptop information here, all dressed up and all that. Your queer is sweating a shit ton, so this would help me out so much, so please let me know. That'd be awesome. So on to the actual topic at hand and away from the grossness that is sweating. <laughs> I had done a previous video that is kind of coming into a line of videos on the same topic that I wasn't expecting when I first created it. So to, to preface what I'm talking about in this video, the first thing that happened was due to the coronavirus, clubs been canceled and this disabled queer's dream happened and all of the clubs that are 80s based or have 80s night theme or also sometimes have like 70s post-punk stuff or 70s stuff or they will have official goth music genre nights. We're putting up first on Facebook Live but then on Twitch, because Twitch was better with the copyright issues and all of that, their sets. And then they started doing more and more nights and basically doing the nights that they would have in person online. And there became so much that it was a plethora and impossible to keep up with. It ended up being really like a disabled person's dream, like mine. Then we cut to while coronavirus started, racism was still going on, and black people were still dying, unfortunately, at that time, but people weren't paying much attention to it. In fact, my, my fellow community of transgender black people were dying almost every month, if not every other week or weekly in 2020 before even coronavirus started and unfortunately my trans siblings do not get the respect when it comes to people that are activists and standing up for Black Lives Matter and LGBT Lives Matter. They usually get pushed off so that sucks. Even though all that was going on, finally after George Floyd and Brianna and I apologize, I forget the man who was running around that got shot at home. Ahmed. Ahmed. Yes. After those three successions, I guess enough people that weren't black said enough was enough and uplifted our voices that have already been coming up against this and supporting us and getting legislation done by rioting because the Boston Tea Party was a riot. <laughs> Stonewall. We are currently in LGBT Pride Month. Was a riot. And so these riots are coming and creating new things as well. And it's a time where it's so influential around the globe at this moment. Even though it's the United States only issue. Companies are coming out of the woodwork who didn't support us before that are saying Black Lives Matter, we're donating money to Black Lives Matter, we're giving to this charity of Black Lives Matter, we're going to allow certain Black Lives Matter regalia to be post worn by employees, we're going to do sensitivity training, 
we're going to be offering discounts or we're going to be promoting more black owned brands, um, items in our company, blah, 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 blah. At a time where the weirdest people that you wouldn't think would say anything about it, like Bratz Dolls, the corporation of the Bratz Dolls, say something. Nickelodeon with Nick Jr. says something. It's really important for the people out there who aren't black to come out of the woodwork and say their piece on it too, to show where they stand. This is a huge moment in history. And even though history is written in by the winners, and the winners unfortunately have been white people and white passing people, and thus our history may be stained. They might write in the history books that this was a time where people were destroying businesses and people were burning up cop cars and cop stations. Those of us who were here know the truth, that that's only a minuscule part of what's happening and that tons of peaceful protests have happened and also that there's nothing wrong with that happening because the kneeling wasn't enough, the petitions weren't enough, the signs and the quiet protests weren't enough. So since all of what we were doing in the past wasn't enough, we know that in order to get change happening, we step up our game, right? And we do what we need to do. And if we need to get loud, then we need to get loud. And there's nothing wrong with that, especially since us black people and there are other ethnicities that are also black, black, and we created a lot with this country. This country, it's important to be on this side. So I'm looking and I'm noticing that there are goths that are standing up that run pages, and I noticed that none of the clubs here in Houston said anything about it. So I went and I first looked at Numbers Nightclub because Numbers Nightclub is, as I mentioned on my past video where I discussed the transition to digital, technically the only official golf nightclub. I asked them, what is their stance on Black Lives Matter on a post where they said they are considering opening on this time and things are coming back into the swing of things. I waited a few hours and I clicked and I noticed my post was completely deleted. I didn't think that they were going to delete the post, so I didn't screenshot or anything of that nature. However, one of my personal friends, outside of the whole networking thing with YouTubers and all of that, my personal friend told me and gave me a screenshot that they also asked about Black Lives Matter and this person is white. And their post got deleted as well. In my opinion, this is not the time in history to be silent and be what Americans love to relate to Nazi Germany, even though the killing and the shrinking of native lives here on America is just as atrocious as the Nazis. For whatever reason, when it's white people who are listening and white passing people, you bring up Nazis, they pay attention. The Nazis had good abiding Germans that didn't believe in what Hitler was doing, but they didn't stand up, they didn't fight, they didn't resist. They went along with it because it didn't bother them. When I see that Numbers Nightclub is not only ignoring Black Lives Matter, posting nothing about it in a comment, nothing about it in a post, nothing about it in a video, None of their side groups, the, the person running the Underworld Night, which is the official golf night, the person that runs classic numbers, insides, emerge, and the decades parties, the person that's doing the industrial side with DOS Machine, none of those three have said anything on their individual pages for those events about Black Lives Matter, and none of them made a statement on the numbers page itself that one, you're doing that, and two, you're erasing any mention of it. 
is not a good look and it shows to me that my black life as a black goth does not matter to you. It shows that when I give you money as a cover to come in and dance, it means nothing to you. That when I was in there, and yes, I did have some good times, but I did often have experiences of being assaulted by men physically and no bouncer did anything. Nobody checked on me to ask if I was okay and I was there by myself. I had to take care of myself. But that was why. Because my black life didn't matter enough for staff to, to ask if I was okay or get the man who was, who was touching my breast or my butt or grabbing me by my waist randomly to get away from me. I completely divested from them. I did mention them in the previous first video to go check out the Emerge, the Underworld, the classic numbers, the insides, and numbers nightclub in general. I do now with the new information retract that statement and I cannot in good faith suggest you listen to any of their twitches, any of their Facebook lives, or any of their in-person events as they start moving over because Texas is greedy and they are already in stage three even though we have not completed the first wave of people to catch the illness, let alone start the second wave. So that was a problem. Then I looked at the other club that is most known, which is Etro Lounge. Etro, I'm not sure how to say it. I didn't see anything personally on their page and I still unfortunately haven't seen but the only reason that I'm not unfunding from them is that, luckily, very I'm very happy to see this. My favorite golf night out of all the things that have emerged recently here in Houston, which is Bewitched, they automatically said Black Lives Matter. No one had to prompt them. And they posted a few things about it. And they said due to the situation, they also are going to stop their regularly scheduled program. So Bewitched is an amazing ally to us Black Goths, and it makes me proud that I support them. I'm going to continue to support them in mentioning them on my social media and on YouTube. And the fact that Etro Lounge hosts them, and they give them a place to set up. And they give them a place to start doing some. I am going to support Etro for that. But I really do hope, separate to that, that sometime in the future, Etro Lounge will do a Black Lives Matter post on their Facebook social media page. And the other club, Barbarella, I don't really, I've never really gone, I'm not really huge on it, but it is an 80s thing, and it is something that sometimes is golf adjacent often when people mention places you can go. But it made me go out and look on the internet, strictly on Facebook and YouTube. Can I find other people that are talking about this outside of Texas that's supporting us? I found quite a few posts on Facebook and I found two people on YouTube, which I'm not surprised for those of you who are returning to me, you know that I have mentioned even before this goes on, that I strictly stay within the black, brown, adnex that's dark skin, Native Americans that are dark skin, and indigenous peoples pages. And that my reasoning behind that was that white people in the community tend to only talk about us in our channels and our work and our art during moments like this with Black Lives Matter movement growing up, with Black History Month, with Martin Luther King Jr. Day, and then the rest of the 365 days, they push us out, they don't mention us, they only bring us on to talk about a segment of racism. And then that's it. They don't keep us regularly included, which is inclusion. And they keep us just for little moments, which is really diversity and not really that showing that we are just as valid as well. Because I already came with that perspective, because I see that the what the white goths on YouTube typically talk about, and I see how 
most of those are really not intersecting with me and what Black Ops really discuss and talking about those of us that are musicians that write these articles, that do these short films, that create these bands, that create these shops and all of that. I wasn't really too butthurt, but honestly I only found two. There's way more than two white people out there on YouTube that talk about golf. And all of y'all that talk about golf that are white should know that there are black and brown golfs out there, especially huge in the Latinx scene. And for those of you who don't know, I myself, my makeup is black from North Africa, Native American from the South and the Southwest parts of America. And due to the South and Southwest parts of America, not only am I Native, but I'm Indigenous Mexican as well. The Latinx people also have Black people in there as well. You know that scene is huge, and yet I have not seen anything come up in the search engine about you mentioning it. It's a real oversight, but we don't, at least for me, I'm not going to want to beg y'all to tell us that our life matter. It shows where your appointment is. And for any black goth that's watching me talk about this, I really hope you consider that when you watch next. What are your favorite goth YouTubers out there and your goth Facebook page content creators saying about Black Lives Matter? What is their stance in their ideas about police brutality? What is their belief when it comes to supporting and promoting black and indigenous people and what is their stance on trying to use their privilege and use their already microphone voice to help uplift the voices of those in the community that are black and brown that often have a voice that's not listened to and do you feel comfortable still supporting those white goths if you come to the conclusion that you as a viewer are not being given that respect, given that acknowledgement, and given that just basic decency, which we're asking for. I think that's worth considering. So moving from there, let's go into all the pages that I have found. Please, please, please. If you have said something and you're watching this and you aren't black about Black Lives Matter and you are golf, put it in the comment section below. I would love to add you to the description, the pinned page of all the pages that I found that are supporting us. If I miss something and you know one, please put it down in the comment section below. I would love to expand to it. I would love that these aren't the only ones that are saying something about it and I just didn't know. Don't put anything from Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter. I'm not on there. I don't do those. I'm not focusing on that. I'm strictly focusing on YouTube and Facebook. One of the YouTubers who is supporting Black Lives Matter for us fellow Black Goths is Mama Goff, which I've never looked at before. Thank you, Mama Goff, for being an ally. There is also the YouTuber, Cadaver Kelly. Thank you, Cadaver Kelly, which I just want to say thank you for all the networking and talk back and forth we do anyway. You're an awesome uh, leader in the golf community for getting us together and uniting and being awesome with creating. But thank you, Cadaver Kelly, for being another YouTuber that's white that supports us black golfs. That is all I found. That is sad. Let's move on to Facebook. Thank you, Obscura Undead, for making that post. Thank you. I don't know how to say this. Aether Soph? Aether Soph? For making that post that you did. Thank you, Deliverance MX, for making the post that you did. Thank you, The Subculture Hustle. Thank you, Very Curious Doctors. Thank you, Beautiful Freak Cosmetics. Thank you, Atrocia Memphis. Thank you, Southern Goths Unite. And specifically to the person that made the specific post, thank you, Savannah Austin. Thank you, John Ryder, 
which your Goss Unite photo is so litty that I saved that shit. So I mocked it because it is really, really good. Thank you, Hannah Goretti. And oh my God, Black Lives Matter is so beautiful. I wish I could use it as a cover photo, but the cover photo is like long wise and that Black Lives Matter is like square wise. Change the formatting and make it like a cover photo. Please let me know because this queer wants to add it because it's litty litty. And while I was recording, I somehow forgot to thank the person who made the graphic in the first page. It is Dearest Relics, and they also, upon doing some extra research that I wasn't able to find earlier, did a few other Black Lives Matter posts. So thank you, Dearest Relics, for making that kick-ass photo and for supporting us as well. Thank you, Crucible, for the post that you did. Thank you, Asphodel Moon. And again, I don't know what that means. Uh, Name-wise, I might pronounce it wrong. Maybe it's Spodel and the A is silent. Not sure. But thank you either way. And I appreciate you dealing with my unsureness on how to pronounce your name. Thank you. Ritual PNW. Which, maybe it's Ritual P now? Poem? Not quite sure. And finally, for what I found, could be more, as I mentioned. Pray there is more, hope there's more, even though I'm atheist. A few other people that I can add to celebrating Black Lives Matter and the goth social media subculture on Facebook and YouTube. I can also thank Skull Girdle who shouted us out, and I can also thank lovely band Black Marble. If you are unaware of who Black Marble is, I did a video specifically showcasing them. That's my music earworm segment, and if you don't know about that segment because you're new to me or you didn't hear that in my other videos, my music earworm segment is where I decide to showcase bands under the gothic subgenre that I feel aren't getting that much showcase, press, notoriety, or talked about online in the spaces that I'm in. And you can check out on that Music Earworm playlist what my sharing of Black Marble was for y'all. And it's always great when a band that I pay attention to also says that my life as a Black person matters and they value my life as a Black person and they will use their privilege of being white in America to stand up for my rights and make the scene as a Black goth more inclusive and safer. I can also say that two broke goths also are celebrating Black Lives Matter, and that is wonderful. I can say that Gateway Golf Events honored Black Golf Appreciation Day, which is a new holiday three years in. This was its third year, and I participated in two out of the three. You can see me. I, I created a new playlist just for those holidays, and you can see what Black Golf Appreciation Day is in more detail and what my personal opinions and little reviews were about it. A post from my Facebook personal friend, Nos A.O. Faratu, had listed that golf band, the Bellwether Syndicate, made a public post sharing that Black Lives Matter. After they posted that, another person under that chat listed that Crew Lies, Boy Harsher, Milliken, Chamber slash Forever Gray, 
Actors, Tempers, Secret Shame, Panic Priest, Zygeist Zero, Panther Modern, Ashton Knight from The Awakening did so as well. Lebanon hand over that for these people, Black Lives and in conjunction, Black Golf Lives are important, valued, protected, and elevated from the everyday racism that goes on here. Oh, that was it. Okay, so again, thank you so much to those of you who have stood up against racism, who have stood up against microaggressions, which are worse than racism and happen more frequently to us. Thank you for standing up against discrimination, which happens more often than racism because those are subtle and easier to hide and easier to mask. Thank you for standing up against systemic racism. And thank you for showing that when you mean the goth community is together, that you mean the entire community, including all race, not regardless, because our black people have culture, our black people have food, our black people have clothes, our black people have holidays, have history with our culture that we have brought and we've included in the golf subculture. And if you say that we're all the same and we're all together, you're erasing freaking Screaming Jay Hawkins and how he brought our voodoo hoodoo to your culture for fashion, for interest into the dark and the occult and I don't think you want that to be erased, so don't say that all people are the same, we're all equal. Say that our black goths matter, and we see you, and we appreciate what you bring to the table. And thanks you all for listening to this. As I mentioned, this channel is Blackity Black 24-7. That is my focus, goth from the black indigenous perspective. So I haven't talked much about this compared to other people because number one, I'm black and I deal with this every day. We don't have to speak up and speak out about it because it's here. We can have fun and we can focus on other things. It's our right as black people to choose. It's not the right of people who have voices that are white and are privileged. It's their duty to do so. But as someone that deals with it every day, it is not ours. So I haven't talked about it much because I'm staying blacky black on here even after this dies down and I was blacky black on here before this rose up. But because it had an intersection that was important to talk about, here I am. And thanks for watching this long ass video. Hope you felt inspired and it's never too late you white people to say Black Lives Matter on your social media if you actually give a damn. And if you don't and you're trash, let us know so we can let you go. <laughs> and for all my black gobs out there, please stay encouraged. Please stay safe. Hope you find things to give you respite and rest from all of the news and updates of what's going on. To help give you nourishing, flourishing energy to keep going forward. Until next time, this is me, Justin King. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, you land.